Hi guys, in today's episode we will be discussing OpenSea platform and techniques to use when looking for the next high potential NFT. NFT's market has been a hot topic for a while and there are plenty of awesome projects, however just as many bad ones, which is why it's important to know what you are buying. First of all, I would like to emphasize that I'm not a financial advisor and this channel is for educational purposes only. Everything I'm sharing here is my own personal knowledge and experience. This video isn't sponsored by any platform or project mentioned. For those who are new, let's define NFTs first. If you are at a more advanced level, you can use timestamps and skip to the parts of the video which are of interest to you. NFTs are non-fungible tokens, also known as digital items, such as sounds, videos, images stored on blockchain. There are different blockchains where you can create, buy or transfer your NFT. The most common are Ethereum and Binance Smart Chain. In the beginning, the idea of NFTs was a simple collectible like art, which you can buy, own and store. After a while, with more and more NFTs appearing on the market, possible applications became more sophisticated too. Now you can find NFTs in games, sports or as a financial asset which you can lend. We have a separate video about NFTs and you can watch it for a more in-depth explanation. If you are buying NFTs, you would definitely use OpenSea platform, one of the most successful ones that's seen an enormous level of growth. Its volume is estimated to be more than $4 billion with 34 million of NFTs and more than 300,000 users. You can use the platform for a variety of purposes, NFT creation, NFT auctions or a marketplace. Whether you are a seller or a buyer, the transaction will happen on the blockchain and there won't be any centralized authority to oversee it. However, OpenSea themselves have a transaction fee of 2.5%. If you created your own NFT, you would be able to set up a royalty fee of up to 10%, which means you would be able to earn revenue every time your NFT is sold on OpenSea. And another important thing, the transaction fees are required for buying, selling and creating NFTs. To use OpenSea, Google it and on the first page you will find a link which will redirect you to OpenSea.io website. You also can download OpenSea application, which is available on iOS and Android. Before using OpenSea platform, you would need to have a wallet. If you are on mobile, you can download MetaMask app. And if you are on a computer, you can use MetaMask browser extension. In this example, we will be using MetaMask because of its simplicity. If you would like to know more about how to use MetaMask, we have a separate and detailed tutorial on this channel. It is very important to know that OpenSea is built on Ethereum. No matter what you are paying fees for, you would need to pay them in ETH and use it as your primary currency. OpenSea currently offers cross-blockchain support across Ethereum, Polygon and Clatin. On the main page of OpenSea, you would need to connect your MetaMask wallet by pressing on the top right button and choosing MetaMask. Next, you would be able to search for the project you are interested in through a search field or by pressing on Marketplace menu, where you will have a drop-down menu with different NFTs categories available on OpenSea. When you find the project you are interested in, you will be redirected to this project's page. This page contains information such as name, description, NFT's quantity, user base, floor price and traded volume. Then after you click on a specific NFT, you would be redirected to this NFT's details page. Here you would see its properties and details such as contact address, token ID, token standard, blockchain and metadata. You would also find its current price, price history, listings, offers and trading history. If the history is being constantly updated, it means that this specific NFT has a lot of attention, meaning that if you buy it, you would be able to sell it. If you would like to see what NFTs other people have, you can type Ethereum wallet address into the search field and discover what NFTs this wallet currently holds. When you are on the Marketplace page, you would be able to use filter in order to customize the selection of projects according to your requirements. For instance, status, auction or new, price, collections, chains and categories. 
When you are on the NFTs details page, you would be able to buy it by clicking on buy now button or use wrapped ETH to make an offer in case it's an auction. Ethereum is a native currency of Ethereum network and wrapped ETH is a compatible version of it. Wrapped ETH is essentially a currency that allows users to make pre-authorized bits that can be fulfilled at a later date without any additional action from the bidder. It's used to buy and sell on auctions on OpenSea. Wrapped ETH uh, doesn't affect ETH's value. Uh, one wrapped ETH uh, is always equal one ETH and can be exchanged on your OpenSea account. To do so, you press on your account button, click three dots button, press on wrap, and in a specified window, convert your tokens. In order to let wrapped ETH uh, to appear in your MetaMask, you would need to add its token into the MetaMask list. For that, open your MetaMask add token, search for wrapped ETH and add it to the list. As we said, the main difference between paying in ETH and wrapped ETH is the type of transaction. If an NFT is being sold and you want to buy it now, you pay in ETH. When the deal is time limited, you would need to use wrapped ETH. It's important to remember about gas fees on OpenSea. When you make a transaction, for instance, transfer your crypto to another wallet or purchase an NFT on OpenSea, you would need to have enough ETH in your wallet in order to pay the cost of the NFT and to pay gas fees. There are three types of gas fees on OpenSea first-time sellers, returning sellers, and sellers and buyers. Gas fees on Ethereum are huge lately. That is why OpenSea added a Polygon network, which helps you to have cheaper transactions. Continuing with buying your first NFT. As we said, we can either press buy now button or make an offer. And you would also need to attend an auction on OpenSea by pressing on place bid button. There are two different auctions available on OpenSea. One is to sell to the highest bidder with the highest bid winning in the end. And another one is to sell with declining price in which the price falls until someone purchases the item. NFT market is very speculative. And as I said earlier, there are tons of low quality projects, which is why you can use some tips to find projects worth investing in. One of the important things to look for when searching for a project is a verification mark. This mark confirms that the project was verified by OpenSea team. The mark is given once it reaches a certain level. It's difficult for a scammer to obtain since the majority of them are in it for short term only. Apart from the very basics, like your project's background, for example, you would need to figure out whether it's hot or not. You would need to find multiple and constant transactions involving this NFT. If you do find them, it means that people are paying attention to it. However, keep track of these transactions too, as some of them might be automated. High supply, low user adoption, and low increase in volume indicates that the project you are looking at is bad. And of course, if you see increases in user base, low supply, and increase in transaction volume, the project is fine to consider. Some people buy a particular NFT because they like it and like uh, the way it looks. In case you are planning to buy it because you are considered it to be a good investment, before buying, check its rarity. There is a platform I would suggest, which is called rarity.tools. It provides a ranking of the rarity of NFTs. Uh, by using this info, you would be able to compare your NFT to others. Not all OpenSea projects are on there, but you can still find quite a lot. So check the Rarity score, you would see it right here. Another cool feature on Rarity.tools is that you can find upcoming projects available on Ethereum, which means you have an idea of what's coming next. OpenSea platform is a decentralized and non-custodial platform, meaning that there is no centralized parties involved in your transactions. Everything happens right between wallets of users. And thanks to its popularity, it's a good starting tool when it comes to your NFT journey. This was our episode for today. Hope this video was useful. If you agree, consider subscribing to our Bunny Money channel. I'm Vlad. See you in the next episode.